Hello over the history hikers. We're standing in the Bois de la Folie. Yes, Bois de la Folie. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere here is supposed to be a castle, a ruin. Um, we don't know where yet. <laughs> And that's actually everything that says on the internet. It's like, the castle is free to visit if you can find it. Because yeah. there are no signs. Nowhere. Yeah, so if you see this video, we'll probably have found it. Um, stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> Let's check it out. The old medieval castle of La Folie is located on the edge of a very steep plateau overlooking the town of Brain and the entire Vel Valley. The name La Folie is possibly derived from Folea, which means country house. Well, that was a lie. We're not even 100 meters into the forest and we see a sign saying where the chateau is. And then another 200 meters and we're there. The construction of the Château de la Folie at the end of the 12th or early 13th century is generally attributed to the Counts of Dreux and Brenne, most notably Robert II. The castle had a solely military purpose since the Lord would always reside in the castle located in the town of Brenne. Robert II would later on also build the castle of Fer en Tardenois and his son would build the castle of Nel. We visited both a couple of weeks ago. Check out the links in the description for more information. The castle is built into the rock and surrounded by a very wide and deep ditch cut into the limestone. The square shape is framed by six towers and thick walls which used to be 25 meters high. The latter are pierced by loopholes and the large entrance door. Corridors inside the thick walls link the towers together. An underground passage under the walls led to a well which was 45 meters deep. The garrison was housed in a large accommodation to the north. Surprisingly, the castle did not have a donjon. During the Hundred Years' War, Robert de Serebruche, who was a descendant of the Counts of Dreux, allied himself with the English Burgundian cause against the French King Charles VII. The Château de la Folie was besieged in 1423 by the Armagnacs, who were supporters of the French King. The castle's garrison was decimated when they tried to escape. After the siege, the castle was burned, destroyed and rendered a ruin. It would remain a ruin until the 18th century when it was converted into a hunting lodge by one of the descendants of the Lords of Brain. He had a magnificent park planted on the hill of La Folie with rare plant species and beautiful avenues radiating around roundabouts. His wife would also be instrumental in setting up a water catchment system for the natural springs on the hill which would supply the castle and town of Brain with high quality water. During the French Revolution, the ruins of the castle of La Folie and the surrounding woods were confiscated and sold. The ruins were badly damaged by bombings during the First World War. Its ruined remains today are still in a very dilapidated state. The 
Chateau de la Folie um, is not behind us anymore. Yeah, <laughs> we moved away because they were uh, cutting down a tree. Um, yeah, it was, it was okay. Yeah. It was a chateau in the middle of a forest. A castle in its natural habitat, or a castle ruin in its natural habitat. Um, yeah, time for the arbitrary subjective castle score. Um, well, there was some history. Um, I'm gonna go four, four. Yeah, me too, four, because there was more than one wall, one wall left. Yeah, but also some history. But also some history. And the moat was pretty impressive. It seemed like it was cut out of stone. Yes, thank you for explaining my subjective arbitrary score. <laughs> <laughs> We're the history hikers. We uh, check out all the castles, even if they're buried in foliage. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to uh, keep supporting us, please like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.